guys, it's Jody. Guess what I have for us to peruse today? We have another JCPenney catalog. This is spring and summer from 1990. So like I mentioned in the last one, it was fall and winter. Fall is not necessarily and winter. Um, you don't get as much fun stuff. It's like um, the more darker colors and stuff. This one has a little bit more fun, like the shorts and stuff like that. Again, there's no toys in this catalog, unfortunately. And I don't know what your guys' tolerance is for perusing old catalogs, but I love it. So join me if you'd like to. And of course, we're not going to go through the whole 1,500 page catalog. As you can see here, I've got some tabs of pages that I have selected that I thought were at least amusing to me, these sailor dresses. And, oh my gosh, look at those hats. I mean, I feel like the only people who wore those were like ladies on, you know, Falcon Crest. That wasn't like a real thing. You didn't see your mom's friend wearing those hats in 1990, I don't think. And we've got some more. This was very big, like wear a really big long t-shirt and then like belt it with fabric or something. That was pretty popular. And well, you know, again, JC Penney is, it's a little behind the eight ball. I'm going to say this was more popular in like 87, 88, but it was still happening at Penny's in that time. And then, oh, we've got some more sailor suits. <laughs> Here we've got some neon. We know neon was real popular at this time. This isn't the brightest of neons, but maybe it's just because it didn't show up in um, the ad like that. Because it's, you know, some fun, bright colors. Who didn't love their neons? And then more sailor suits. This is, I think, the one that I wanted to show you here. This skirt. That was very popular. Um where it's got like the flat area and then it's pleated. Yeah, with the belt. And this, it, it's got obvious belt loops in it. So you cannot wear this skirt without wearing one of those big chunky belts. And we've got polka dots and my favorite knot. The outfits that are this the two piece, but the same pattern on the top and the bottom. I hate that. I really, really hate that. <laughs> Um, these are some fun ones too. These are very like Kelly Kapowski from Saved by the Bell. This is like her, these are like her outfits here. Not this one as much. Oh man, look at these shorts. Woohoo. Super high with the tie belt. And this one is like, if you folded these up, these shorts would probably come up to here. <laughs> Of course, they're not made to be folded up. They're made to be worn exaggeratingly um, long. And, of course, you've got your uh, mom jeans here. Okay, and then let's flip over to bathing suits. You got a lot of neon course you've got your spandex pants with the this like color blocked side that was very popular for girls and guys and your high cuts ruffly bikinis and lots of polka dots and bows these are all fun. And then we're going to switch over to, oh boy, why did I want to, maybe it was this page. Okay, this page is the one I wanted to show you guys. These three tier dresses, those were very popular. I'm going to go ahead and go like later 80s instead of 1990 with those. But yeah, and then this like silk with the peplum. <laughs> and we've got a bunch of oh boy those um the drop waists yikes 
Yikes, yikes. Okay, let's move on to the bridesmaids dresses. Oh my goodness. I think I showed you guys a lot of these in the last catalog. And I'm surprised there's so much like bridal stuff in the JCPenney catalog. But look at how cheesy. I mean, this little like, not only you have a bow, but you also have like a ruffle right at the butt. Because, you know, everyone wants, wants their butt to look bigger on their wedding day. <laughs> women have worked hard and lost 40 pounds right before their wedding and then they put their dress on and it's like you just gained 40 pounds I mean obviously look here the bridesmaid now here's different because you want your bridesmaids to look bigger right so you look smaller so you get them these dresses that have all this roushing on the side and the big sleeves so they look bigger than you <laughs> I guess if you're mean like that. <laughs> Look at this. Woo! And more bows on the butt. Super popular to do bows on the butt. And then you have the big sleeves, the bright pink, the huge bow, and four tears. <laughs> Yep. And it looks like this one has a bunch of tears too. Which is mostly what you're going to get from the girls you made buy these dresses that they'll never wear again. A lot of tears. Oh, and then you've got your two-tone pink and white wedding dress with all those ruffles at the floor. Oh my goodness. Oh, man. Oh, that's a high-low. That's a before-it's-time hemline. Ooh, fancy. Oops. Oh, and then you've got the nice hat. Mm -hmm. And more bridesmaids' dresses that only got worn once. Not only you have a giant sleeve here, but it's like also roush, so it looks even bigger. And look at these sleeves. Whew. Lots of fun mother-in-law dresses. And just crazy, crazy, crazy wedding dresses. <laughs> Now, is this the wedding dress and then this is what your bridesmaid wears because it's pink or is that just a pink wedding dress? Because it would be hilarious if your bridesmaids were wearing the same dress as you, only in a different color. Oh, crap. Look at that one. <laughs> Dark blue with white ruffles. Oh, man. You really want to make your friends suffer. This is like your friend that made you wear a terrible dress in their wedding. So then you're like, I'm going to make your dress even worse. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Oh, come on, pages. And then you've got your more like, these are more like um, your prom dresses. These are what girls are going to be wearing to the prom. This girl's having her Marilyn Monroe moment. And then your black, purple, with the huge pink bow, and then turquoise inside. Now that is 1990 right there. Of course, you got your little bolero jackets. Those were popular. This girl here. Whew. This, the black velvet with the white, that was very popular too. Very popular. Okay. Um, lots of gloves and stuff. I think we're going to move on to... Come on now. There we go. 
Uh, oh, okay. I wanted to show you guys this. This is like pajamas. Oh, come on. Phone. I do all my filming on my phone. And sometimes I want to cooperate. Sometimes not. <laughs> so these pajamas, it says asleep on them. These were super popular. Everybody had these pajamas. Um, I had a pair of these that I wore so much for so many years that they, um, like the fabric got super thin and like see-through, <laughs> but I loved my sleep. They look like, like, uh, baseball uniforms. And then of course you have your leggings with your giant t-shirts. Okay. Now we're skipping along pretty far here. We're went, going into the guys section now. We've got some more neon. Look at these guys in their short shorts. <laughs> Those were actually long shorts too for that for that time frame. Okay. And then moving on to is this where we wanted to be? Oh, look at this guy in his super low cut shirts. He's trying to show off that he's been going to the gym. And then we have the kids' clothes. These are the little gentlemen. <laughs> I always love these pictures of the little boys that are dressed up like you're only going to get them in this clothes once look at this suit right here that is like an, a 90s suit it's like suit clothes but then it has like elastic or um yeah, like knitted stretch knit around i don't know if it's supposed to make it more comfortable or somehow that's fashionable not sure <laughs> and look at this little mogul here you got your used car salesman, your attorney. Oh, man, look at these guys. <laughs> and then I love the little trench coat. They don't have any pictures of the little guys in their trench coats, but those are the fun ones. <laughs> and then moving on to some super cool dude clothes. We've got Bugle Boy outfits, Bugle Boy shirts. Bugle Boy jeans. Yes, those are Bugle Boy jeans that you're wearing. And of course, your jean jackets and your acid wash. Because you've got to have that. And then lots more neon. Hang 10. Surf rags make waves. Surf rags. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. And more like fun graphics. More cool, like, surfer dude kind of clothes. Ninja Turtle, surf, surfer dude style. And then we've got some coats, even though it's spring and summer. I'm sure these are more like, um, we got your raincoats. And then you got your super bright windbreakers where it, in the 90s we had these, the half zip windbreakers with the big pockets in the front. <laughs> they were always like really big and bright colors. But these are fun, like Mickey Mouse. Um raincoats those are super cute I remember I had a Smurfs one and you got your scouts and your girl scouts pages okay and then we're moving on to our girls stuff here little girls 
These Hirachi sandals were so popular. Again, you know, more later 80s than 90, but they were super popular. And of course, you've got all your tear dresses for little girls. People still try and cram little girls into those dresses. <laughs> New moves. Look at these girls. There's again some of the spandex with that light color block color on the side. And lots of like neon. And then you got your Easter outfits. <laughs> Trying to get to the pages that I, um, oh, there's more Hirachis. The pages that I thought were cool for you guys. I put little tabs, so sometimes those little tabs do not want to cooperate. I want this big bird jacket now <laughs> and look at this it has a matching umbrella I love that and then we move on to oh here's some of some baby room furniture Disney and friends Not necessarily for well yeah i guess it's furniture strollers and play pens and stuff like that and like crib sets and stuff and then this is just like cute teddy bears and then we will move on to Uh, we've got our uh, swing sets. Okay. Did you ever have one of these trusty, rusty old swing sets in your backyard? These like made so much noise. So much noise. <laughs> you had these in your yard for one season, then they were rusty, and then every time you swung or whenever it was windy outside, you could hear them out there. <laughs> Let's see here. We've got a f some sleeping bags for the campers. And this is a fun little Mickey Mouse tent. And um, the Mickey Express. And a sleeping bag that has like a bus on it with a bunch of the characters. That's really cute. Cute. And then you got just some good old tents here. Tents now, you know, they're like three or four bedrooms and they're huge and they have all these separations. And this is like the tent that we always had camping. It's like, you know, this is probably actually bigger than our tent, but like barely enough for everybody's sleeping bags and rust and rusty, not rusty, but, uh, not rainproof either, so hopefully it didn't rain, because if it did, you're wet. <laughs> and then we've got some camcorders. You can videotape your fun camping adventure. And some radios here. Now, I love how these came out in the late 80s, early 90s. Um, there was a, people started getting interested in like antiques and stuff again. And so they made these radios, but they have tape decks in the side. So even though it was an old looking radio, you could still, um, use it for your modern conveniences. Um, and so when my sister and I, whenever we're shopping, we find things that may or may not be vintage, we always say, does it have a tape deck in the side? Even though we might not be talking about something actually with a tape deck in the side, we're asking each other, is it a reproduction? So, this one's cool here. It's like a 50s 
sort of like a Wurlitzer jukebox, but it has a tape deck inside. And then this is like the jukebox select selector with the tape deck inside. And also this part, I actually have this. You fold this down and, um, no, maybe the mine's a little bit different because this has buttons on the side. But you fold this down, the one that I have, and it has buttons here for volume and whatnot. And this is, um, this looks like a Coca-Cola cooler, which is awesome. And it has cassette storage on the top. That's so cool. And then this is like a duffel bag that has a radio inside. Very, very cool. And of course we've got all these fun boom boxes. Mine was kind of like this, the one that I had like this one, um, where the speakers, they lifted off. So they were in kind of like a track on the side and they lifted off so you could put them elsewhere. Of course it didn't work without the speakers. So if you wanted to move it around, um, but who, who could afford eight D batteries? Because that's what it took to run these suckers. And this one I bet was even more than eight D batteries. Look at the price. Look at the size of this thing. But, you know, they had to be dual cassettes for making your mixtapes. But then look at this one. Ooh, man. I'll give you $19.95 for this one right now if you have it. I'll take it. <laughs> and, of course, your aspirational, ginormous living room stereos. And we're moving on to the cell phones. These cell phones cost $649, which seems crazy, but also maybe a bargain because some people pay $1,000 for their phones. So, yeah. Although you cannot go on to Instagram on this phone. <laughs> and this one, you have to carry this huge bag with you. And it has a cord to that bag. So even though you can take it in the car, you've got to carry this huge bag, which I'm assuming is really heavy. It says, um, lightweight portable bag. But you know what? I bet it's not that lightweight. <laughs> and then we're going to the Con Air Impressions crimper so this is the hair styler where you would put these different plates in and you could make these shapes in your hair of course your hair had to stay exactly like that for you to tell what the shapes were but yeah you could make all these different shapes in your hair which seemed so cool on the commercials but also didn't really look like anything after you did it unless you hairsprayed it like crazy with Aquanet, which it's possible. You might have done that. And then we're almost to the end of where we're going to be here, guys. This catalog is very similar. There's a lot of similar things to the last, the, the fall and winter one that I did. And so I'll link that video up here if you want to see like more of the electronics and stuff because it's a lot of the same, same stuff. Do you not want a big bird bedroom? I do. I totally want a big bird bedroom. This Mickey Mouse is so awesome and they have matching wallpaper. And these ones are fun. They're just kind of cute. We have a little Holly Hobby one here. And then you've got your miscellaneous. If you're a fan of any NFL team, that's, that's your room. And this one is kind of the same with baseball. Like instead of getting your favorite team, you just get baseball. <laughs> 
These are cool here. The 80s was very big, or the 50s was very big in the 80s. 1990 might have been like a little late for that, but the 50s was huge in the 80s. And then we've got Batman. Batman has been popular pretty much forever. Okay, guys, that is the last page that I'm going to show you in this catalog, other than this page on the back, which is frilly black gold nonsense. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and tell me if you had any of the stuff in this catalog. I had some of it. I did. Some of that, some of the neon clothes. I had more in the 80s. In 1990, I was in high school, and I was like, no way. But, <laughs> all right, guys. See you next time. Bye.